Codel Minerals, we're an AIM-listed company. We focus on West Africa, exploring for lithium and gold. Most recently, we've moved into a development and producer phase at our Baguni Lithium project in Mali. In 2016, we started exploring the project. 2019, we lodged our mining application. 2022, we announced that we had agreed uh, with Hainan Mining to come in to assist us with the development of the project and Hainan Mining injected $100 million into the project and $18 million US dollars into the PLC company. Following that, we've completed construction of a DMS plant at Baguni, started production in February this year with our first production uh, of a spodumene concentrate grading over 5.5%, which was a fantastic achievement for our team and demonstrated the value of the project. We're currently uh, starting the export phase. We received our export license for the spodumene concentrate in uh, September this year and looking for our first shipment of 30,000 tonnes of concentrate to be completed before the end of this year. The plant that we've uh, built on site is uh, nameplate will be around 125,000 tonne of concentrate produced per year, expecting to average over 10,000 tonne per month. We're looking to produce an average grade of 5.5% lithium oxide in the concentrate, and that's the uh, market that we've agreed with Hainan Mining, who will be the offtake partner for 100% of the production. With us, we're a hard rock mining operation, and our, our mineral is spodumene. It's the highest lithium component. Uh, it's one where there's a well-known path to extract, to convert the spodumene mineral to produce a lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide that's of immediate use into electric vehicles and other, other personal devices. And that's why it's a preferred mineral. Our mineral spodumene is hosted in a pegmatite body uh, that has formed a large, wide, continuous body that's amenable to the open pit mining. So we've got low cost, we've got an extraction process that's well understood, and the conversion of spodumene to the battery material is also well understood. So that's, that's why it's a preferred. That's why we were very happy when we were able to demonstrate that our project had high quality, low impurity spodumene that we were able to extract. We started off with a 1 million tonne per annum plant with a capex budget of around $65 million. And our team did a great job where we were able to come in under budget. We're still finalising those numbers, but it's clearly below the $65 million and on time. We currently have a resource estimate of around 32 million tonnes from memory um, based on three prospects. Uh, we've completed a series of drilling campaigns recently on one of our prospects, the Bumu prospect. We expect to continue to expand the resource base and as we work on the project, we tar we're targeting over 50 million tonnes of resource based on what our estimate of what we're seeing on site with not just the three, three prospects that we've already put a resource around, but we've identified multiple other pegmatite veins that we need to actually start drilling on. So for Baguni, we think we've got the opportunity to develop a long life mine, uh, both trying to continue to find additional feed for the DMS plant, but then our stage two development of a flotation plant will treat the Sogola Bale and Bumu prospects where that initially looks like a 15 plus year mine line. We have gold projects both in Mali in the Fatu Gold Project and in Ivory Coast where we have the Nile uh, prospect and applications and obviously West Africa is historically well known for gold mining and uh, there's a lot of potential for new discoveries and additional ground and acquisition and you know we 
We have been an exploration company in the past and one of our skill sets is obviously acquiring projects and we're happy to look for lithium and you know as our focus now as a producer of lithium is to continue to expand that facet of our company but of course we have some gold expertise and we'll continue to look for additional gold projects and opportunities there as well. Right now on site we have over 600 Malian employees, 350 of those are from the immediate local community. The knock-on effect of that of course is high that we have wages going into the community and in addition we're actually also spending money supporting the communities in, in the form of supplying uh, schools, materials for the schools, paying teachers to uh, be able to provide the education to the community. We're improving roads, we're improving water access, we're providing power in places to, to communities and that's, um, that's a significant benefit that we see. Well, you know, we're a great company of course and we've demonstrated that ability to go from exploration to development we're now a very different company than we were last year. We continue to demonstrate a path for growth. We have a partner who is strongly supportive of continuing and continuing to grow our operation. We're very positive about the future of lithium. And as well, Codel is well funded to continue our own growth path. And we continue to look for other opportunities. Uh, we have assets that we'll be doing more work on ourselves but there's a great, great opportunity for our company to grow and continue the development path in West Africa. We're casting our net widely across Africa.